Hello everybody, good morning. Uh, yesterday while I was out in the woods, my bee sticks came. I ordered five of them and they do not come assembled. So I've got everything laid out here. I'm gonna assemble one for you to help you out if you need it. Um, but here are the stick part of it. A little weird that the middle one is a little different color than the other four. Don't really care. Um, but I'll show you how to put one together. They do come with instructions and what you need, but sometimes visual is better. So we'll put one of these together and get you on the road. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right, so I've opened up one of the packets. I've thrown the belt over here because I really don't need the belt right now. Um, so you've got five bolts. This bolt here, which is the medium one, is going to be for your button. Your two shorter bolts are going to be used where these larger holes are on the ends. Those are gonna be holding part of the step. The longer bolts are gonna be going through the step and through the bracket. These are locking nuts with nylon washers inside. So let's get assembling. I kind of read through the directions, um, but we'll see, I'm gonna do it my way. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same way as that, but figure one of the steps right here just make sure you're assembling them right you're gonna want your Versa button that's right here towards the top you're gonna have more holes here so that'll give you an indication this is towards the top so we're gonna line up that hole on the top part of the step and that's gonna be using one of the shorter bolts so this one gonna put the nut right over the hole and then probably to have to try and hold it with my pinky because it is so if i start that one so my fingers are too big to fit through that hole and since i have a if i push it up far enough and since i have a uh, deep well socket it's probably not going to do too well as far as holding that nut in place. So I got it started now just by holding pressure on there. So that kind of holds the step in place. And then I'm going to take the longer bolt. I'm not going to go all the way through yet because what I want to do is hold this on the back side. I'm going to put the beast bracket on here. right over the hole and then I want to drop this nut right in there the tolerances are really nice hold that nut really solid with my thumb get it through the bracket and then drop that nut right on top and start hand tightening until I can't do it anymore and you'll see what I mean there's like a double step right here you want to make sure that nut is in that lower section you don't want it up above that so now everything is nice and tight you won't have to hold this one with a wrench because it's going to be caught between that metal but I would suggest pushing it up so it's in that little groove section. So push it up and then you can use your socket. To tighten it down. So we are nice and snug right there. And then you're gonna need your 7 16th wrench on that top one. And then put your socket in the lower section where the hole is bigger. There we go, now it's the nut has started to bite. And before I start tightening down, I just want to make sure everything is nice and square. 
on the bra on the post itself. I don't want to have it cockeyed and then you're trying to tighten it down. Everything looks good. I'm going to go back and put that back on there and put the socket back on and tighten this bolt all the way down now. There we go. That one is snug too. I'll go back and snug up everything once I get it on there. So the front step or top step is on. And I think we're going to go to the very back and do the back part next. Same thing. Step is going to be up like so. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to use that shorter bolt again. This one's going to be a little tougher because it's a little bit further into the area. So I'm going to slide that nut in there. Use one of the other nuts or the bolts to get it over the hole. There we go. Got that small one. Let's start bringing it up through the bottom. The top hole of the bracket this time. Put my pinky in there to kind of hold the nut in place. Twist it until it starts to grab the nut. I'm good there now. Put the bigger bolt again through the bottom hole on this one. Bring it up. Put your Beast Stick logo bracket, tree bracket on. Drop the nut down. Lower the bolt a little bit just so it is sitting, that nut is sitting all the way to the bottom of the Beast bracket. Start turning your nut on the back side. And same thing again, I'm gonna hold my finger on the nut. Make sure that bracket is down and start tightening. That way that nut doesn't go into that second groove. That's pretty nice. I've got my 7 16 on the top one and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do this left-handed. So I'm down on that side of the bracket. Same thing again, I just wanna make sure I am sitting on the post nicely, I am. Put my 7 16 wrench on the other end and tighten down the bracket. And there we go. Everything looks good. Brackets are all seated nicely all the way. And now the last thing left is the Versa button which the Versa button, we're putting a hole through there, putting the bolt through. It's gonna go on the front here. And this one might be a little tricky. We'll see if we can stick it on here. And got it right on there. Okay, it's starting to bite on the washer. Put the 17th to 6 inch rent on the back side and hook my socket back up. And tighten it down. There we go, everything is together. And then you've got your caps, which are just gonna be pushed on the ends. And that's what the mallet is probably for. So that's it. That's your assembly of your stick. Looks pretty nice. I'll grab a mallet and pound those in, but there you go. Pretty simple. And those are very lightweight. I love the machining is awesome on this. The tolerances are perfect in here. There is no wiggle at all. I think you'll be very pleased with these sticks. Can't wait to get them out in the woods and try them. All right. Thank you very much and see you guys later. Hope that helps.